Hey there, Power Appers. In this video, we're going to show you some interesting UI tricks to make your app sizzle a little more. We're going to focus especially on the new container properties like Drop Shadow and Radius. So stay tuned. One of the biggest complaints we get about Power Apps Canvas applications specifically is that they look a little cartoony sometimes. So in this video, we're going to show you how to create cards and side panels and make your forms look a little bit cleaner or a lot cleaner potentially with these new uh, drop shadow properties in containers. So we're going to start by showing you the old way of doing things and then the new way of, of cleaning things up also. So let's start with the old way of looking at things. Let's imagine, for example, you want to create an info card for Devin, my brother here in this case, uh, Knight. Uh, what he typically might do is he might drag these things into a, a rectangle like this, you know, and uh, and as you do this, kind of send that background to the to the to the background here and make it look something like this. Well, it doesn't really have any texture here, like you see in traditional Windows or or Macintosh type applications. So instead of that, what I want to show you is a little bit way of making this cleaner now. Now, there's we've had containers for quite some time in Power Apps. But the option to have drop shadows and radiuses and all those kind of things is pretty, pretty brand new. So I'll go ahead over here and drop a container in. Make sure I'll use, I'm going to use a free floating container versus one of the more responsive type containers. As I select that, I'll just go ahead and grab my objects here, cut them out. Make sure, look in the, in the object here, this is basically going to group, this container is going to group all my objects together to make sure it's selected, either over here or over here, and then paste those in. Oh, I am actually, let me try again here. I actually copied the wrong thing. There we go. Let me try that one more time. Cut it and paste it. There we go. So now that I've got that, you'll notice hierarchically here, I've got everything kind of in this container. We can then do some magic, and as I move the container, everything kind of moves over with it. So let's try to make this a little more uh, info cardy now. So I'll shrink that down just a wee bit to, to where it fits more like an info card. After I do that, I'll put a background on it for the container itself. Then I'll try this new drop shadow property here. This drop shadow property comes in multiple types of flavors here and how depth you want, how deep you want to make it. Find out what works for you. I'll start with regular and you can kind of see how it, it kind of gives a little more texture to our objects here. We still need to shrink this down just a wee bit here to make it feel a little bit more like an info card. So I'll kind of bump this up here and so on. There we go. That looks a little better now. So play with it and find out what works for you. Some of my developers like the more semi-bold where it really feels like it kind of is popping out. I'm more of a, you know, I like a little more understated, but you find out what works for you. Additionally, we can also look at this border radius property. And if you try like a 30 here, it'll round those corners to where it looks definitely more uh, stylish if you want to also, you like that style as well. Definitely a personal preference here on, on, on how much you like it, uh, how much uh, uh, drop shadow and how much uh, 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 rounding you like, but it's a really, really cool feature that we now have. Now, to take this into an existing account, let's like imagine, for example, this form right here. We want it to feel more like a, a, side, a side option here, a side con, uh, panel instead. That can also be done with containers as well. Simply, we'll just copy and paste that in, and let's, let's make that work here. So again, I'll drop a new container in. There we go. And I will go ahead and just you know, stretch this out to make it feel more like a container, like a, like a side panel here, and I'll move it in a moment. Cut it, select it, and paste it. And again, I'm going to do the same thing I did before with a few alterations. So I'll take the container, uh, whether you want to have it on your side, on the right side or left side, I'll go more Microsoft style and, and, and kind of stick to the right panel here. Shrink it down as you wish. Again, I'll make it uh, a white background so it offsets that light background I have here. Now in this case, for my drop shadow, there's a few things I want to address. Well, first of all, let's, let's look at the form itself. See, it's not quite right into the corners here. So you, yes, you could tweak it and tweak it and tweak it. And I'll go one column here so it looks a little more side panel-y here. Uh, let me go ahead and just kill. I don't need that submittal date, so it kind of fits in there. All right, so if I want to make it stretch truly to the parent here, what I can do is look at the form properties and look at the width 
And instead of doing the 407 hard coding it, just do parent.with. So that way, as the, the container stretches, there we go. As this container stretches, my form will stretch also. Make sure you have the container property selected. Then as you do it, your form will also stretch as well. You can kind of see it as I do this. The form is actually full width there as well. Uh, additionally, I may want to, but I just make, messed that up, didn't I? There we go. They kind of bumped that back. You got to make sure the container is selected when you shrink when you shrink or expand things. Additionally, the same thing on the height. So if you want to look at the height property of the form, okay, make sure you have it selected. Go to your height property and do the same thing, parent.height. All that's doing is it's taking the, the property of the parent, in this case, the there we go, now it's all nudged in there. Now the container, so look at this hierarchy here. So it takes the, the, the property of this parent and then sizes it accordingly. You can also do that for the X and the Y property, so you don't have to do that nudging that I was doing after the fact. Now that I've done that, I can also go through, again, I'll make sure the container is selected, and I'll shrink that down just a wee bit more, so now I'm not having to nudge all those. Now, to make it look truly like a side, uh, like a side piece here, what we can do is grab our container, let's put our drop shadow on, like we've been doing before. Again, I'll go regular here. We got a little bit of drop shadow here. And then if you want to do things like uh, radius properties and all that, you can also put that radius property on uh, individual sides. Now, I'm not going to do it in this case. I think it's going to look kind of silly in this case. But if you look at the advanced properties for radius, all right, and you kind of scroll down, you'll notice that you can get a, a, a whole bunch of properties. Oh, and I'm on the form here. That's the number one mistake I always make. And you'll see on the advanced properties, you can, you can round the left top, right top, and so on to give it extra texture on individual basis there also. So for example, if I wanna go just the left side and uh, as the top left, give it a little bit of a curvature, I can do like a 20 there, and then also on the bottom left, there we go, let me give that a 20 also, just so you can kind of see what it might look like. Again, not required by any means, and I, I, I prefer the hard edges on side panels. But just wanna kind of show you a few options you can do. So with this, we got a number of options to kind of make this look a lot cleaner. And this was gonna make our, our Canvas apps look less cartoony, less, less hard edges, uh, less, less you know, two-dimensional. So I love this new feature in, in these, in these uh, you can also, in these containers, make sure you name those accordingly. But the cool thing is now, I can take a button like a, an icon, like a, I don't know, a hamburger menu or something like that, or a little hamburger, I'm just looking for a, um, a more option. There we go. And imagine I had a little header menu up top uh, or that info button, let's take that info button. So what we can do is we can show or hide that panel now based on that accordingly. So if I were to go and uh, uh, first of all, I'll look at, at this, the screen here and I'll create a quick variable that I can use. So on visible the screen, how about we create a little update context? There we go. And we'll call this bar uh, show side panel. And we're gonna start that as false. Okay, great. I'll copy that because I'm going to use it a few more times here. On that info box there, let's go ahead and take that info box and on select. Oh, here we go. I'm going to pass right by it. The new alphabet I'm not familiar with here. Uh, I'll take that and then whatever the property was before, I'll do the opposite of it. Okay, last step. I'll take my container and I'll look at the, on, the, um, the visibility property of that and I'll make it equal to that var show side panel. So now as I select this little info box, it comes in, out. We can also put a close button here to do that same update context. You can also make it where it slides out with a little bit of timer action there as well, where it kind of incrementally, the X property kind of incrementally goes out and then incrementally goes back. But it kind of gives you that little more texture. You can hide certain fields, hide certain extra actions, uh, and give your app a little more texture. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to use containers to make your app look a little bit more, uh, a little more interesting in many cases. This is part of our training we do at Pragmatic Works. You can find our training at pragmaticworks.com. We have things like hackathons where we build apps with you. We have virtual mentoring, where we help you get unstuck. And then we also have a boatload of training that you might be interested in as well. Thanks for watching this video and please do subscribe if you find this interesting and wanna see more videos like this. Have a great day.